بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاه والسلام على رسول الله Thanks to all. I'm mean, very pleased and thrilled by this opportunity. Uh, thank you for the organizing committee for the leadership of the university and uh, uh, Benghazi in general. And I would like to start uh, when the Ustazna Fakhri Ahmed Shahid Yamil and I'm living here and I'm living here and I'm living here and I'm living here in Sudan. I'm living here in Sudan. I'm living وغير مقتني واشدد اليها من الريح ان تجدي. I would like uh, uh, to say that in brief that this uh, presentation is a little bit different because I generated the issue around it and this is from my previous experience around accreditation and being surveyor in uh, local and uh, regional uh, accrediting institutes. So I have nothing to declare or to disclose. And as I have said uh, that uh, my appreciation and uh, heartful thanks to Libya International Medical University, Limo. And I guess when I'm passing to the hotel from uh, the airport, I found uh, a road sign saying that we are fighting uh, the terrorism on behalf of the world. If I guess now you are establishing um, quality in medical education on behalf of the national and international universities. Thank you for that. Thank you. So this is uh, one of my great teacher. I need uh, just to uh, mention that all of what I am going to say right now is because of him, Professor Bashir Hamad Amadallah Fi Umru, and one of our uh, great professors, Professor Abdul Munim Sahal, is coming today and he will join, inshallah, the meeting uh, tomorrow or the conference tomorrow. So, the content in short uh, will be about uh, introducing the issue of what, what I mean by the crisscross and uh, how we're going to have these uh, uh, issues uh, uh, balance between this and that. And what is a lesson, or what are the lessons to be learned at the end of the talk? And this is as, as, I've, as I have said, and because I would like to reflect on my experience, uh, you might uh, agree with some, you might disagree with some, but all in all, this is just an experience, an overview of uh, what I see from the observation from my short experience. So feel free whenever you would like to uh, to discuss or to uh, argue against something or to reflect. And because of my master in health professional education or medical education, which I urge everyone to take, if it is here or there, and I hope that uh, Limu will have a degree in this soon. And this is Sudan Medical Specialization Board and Sudan Medical Council, because I'm a surveyor over there. The Arab Board, as I'm a member in the advisory committee for accreditation. And the shared experience from the conferences and stuff here and there. So in, in, in short, as you know, that the quality in education is to meet the requirements of the customers, and you can put uh, two brackets between the, the, the customers, uh, the partners, and who is real, uh, is real a partner, and who are the stakeholders you need to address. And uh, uh, interestingly, uh, WFME modified its standards, and I like to emphasize on this point, because they have changed from the process-based uh, approach, like having lists, and you check on the lists, is to have principle-based approach, the concept of having the quality of things. And this is because you know that they would like, uh, they, they said it like this, this principle-based standards are not prescriptive and detailed, but are stated at a broad level of generality. So to enable the local uh, 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 experts to look into their local needs first, rather than to look into what is the quality of the international, which does not, or what uh, standards outside, which is not uh, uh, tailored to the need of the community. Say, to have a medical assistant in the peripheral side of, of, uh, of Sudan or in Libya, 
is better than not to have anyone. And uh, we have a small study done, done in Sudan before the revolution in the universities. They found that more than 40% of our population in Sudan has no any whatsoever coverage in health. Whatsoever, not, not even a community worker, not even a community health worker, so this is the level of the community, not even a community midwife. So we need to, to tailor the, 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 the things between these uh, two balances. And uh, they have stated that this should be applicable, the applicability and vis the visibility. And added to this, uh, uh, they, they have said that educational practice, therefore varies between social and geographical context. What is right for one medical school in Europe, in UK, in USA, or one part of the globe might not be right for Libya or for Sudan. So we need to take this into account whenever we look into the balance. And as have been mentioned earlier in this, uh, these great presentations by our colleagues, that the issue is not to have a, a mindset and to develop a well-written document of a curricula. The problem is how to make it visible for better implementation. And we need to invest our effort in this uh, 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 issue and to shed an important uh, 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 light on the importance of having the implementation well set and, and well planned. And as uh, you know that uh, the Association of Medical Education in Europe, they have many guides. And one of the important guides, the, the, this number number 29, they stress, is, is stressed on the point that evaluation is integral to the implementation. So you need to have a steadfast fast effort on, an, on a robust system of monitoring and a consequent better evaluation for our program and to have the ability to improve uh, things uh, while going on. So, and uh, th this is like, uh, uh, because um, I'm working now for the Sudan Medical, Special Medical Council uh, the, as the, accreditor, or the, the accrediting body for uh, Sudanese universities as one of the surveyors and they have developed this, these uh, documents and I guess we can share this with you and we can have yours as well to improve ours. And uh, this uh, is uh, one of the uh, greatest uh, letters we received from the World Federation for Medical Education uh, by Professor uh, David Gordon when uh, they uh, 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 recognized uh, Sudan Medical uh, Council as accrediting uh, body uh, in Sudan and in the region. So uh, what we would like to balance between what is written in the standards and our needs. So this, this, this balance should be ba ba between the, our culture, our resources, aspirations, and values, which is a little bit different from others, although we might share with them uh, many. And then there is the specific, specified areas of quality performance. We shouldn't ignore uh, the quality. Whenever we look into uh, how we can tailor things to our need, we need to look into what are the important benchmarks not to trespass or to violate the quality issues. And then also we need to have a balance between what is uh, adopted by the WFME before uh, 2020, and they, these are nine, and now they adopted these eight. And you can see that the difference is not so much, but they emphasize on uh, changing educational uh, resource or educational program into curriculum because they think that the curriculum can uh, uh, really absorb all the issues that they need to target in the educational program. And as well, they have the quality assurance rather than that, like the, the continuous renewal because the, continue, the continuous renewal, as we can see from the presentation of Khabab, inshallah, later on, is part of the accreditation and is not a whole journey and it's not a destination which we would like to reach. And uh, as well, we would like to have uh, the discrete uh, cross issues, which I really uh, uh, take it from my experience while surveying the schools there, that the cross uh, issues is, uh, is about the curriculum goals. And we need, when, whenever we need to, looking into the curriculum goals, we need to look it into three dimensions, the education, 
and even here the training of the staff and the training of the students themselves and then the service i mean the health service provision whatsoever level of health service provision if it's like primary secondary or tertiary and then the research if it is like the medical education research or the research in, in relation to a profession or uh, into the issues that we, we need to address and to see what might be the future and how we can have a, a site and uh, uh, say forecasting and expectation and good prediction. And, uh, uh, and the, as a, the other issue is the evaluation and the system thinking. And I appreciate what now Limo is doing because uh, uh, yesterday when we are uh, with Dr. Adil, he told us about something which is like very innovative and guess you might need to uh, really to uh, uh, publish this and disseminate it, the, the, the critical thinking. Because this is something which we need. And if like we started something like this for our juniors, for sure the, the, the future will be better than, than others. And then uh, what is this, the cross, cross issues? The first is the professionalism, which is like criss crossing all over the eight standards and the alignment and the social accountability and integration. And the fifth is the student center issues and the sixth is the, the research. And when you look into the, the books of, of the uh, WFME or uh, the annotations, when you look into the standards, the balance between, say, for example, the should uh, standards as advanced quality improvement standards. And then when you look into the, the sorry, uh, when you look into the, the, the issue of the must uh, standards as something basic, basic, which you cannot uh, 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 turn a blind eye or a deaf ear, to do it in your, your faculty. You can have this uh, being mentioned in one and like having uh, uh, intermingled with other and interconnected with, with the CERN. So because of this, we need to look into uh, these issues. And uh, why we would like to evaluate this? Because we would like to see the areas of strengths. And this is really taken from the final report of the, uh, uh, of the accreditation report which you give to the faculties, you, you, you talk about the, in each area, you talk about areas of strengths, areas for improvement and areas of non-compliance and at last your uh, uh, recommendation. If it is like uh, not fulfilled, partially fulfilled uh, or uh, uh, fully fulfilled and uh, uh, marked by green color. So uh, when we, talk, we take this crisscross uh, issues uh, on, on the professionalism, and I, I'm, I'm really appreciate the way they put the, the timetable because really they, they hit important points. And some of the points which my, I'm, I'm going to say right now here is, is just stressing on, on certain important points being uh, reflected this morning or might be reflected in the coming days as if you are, are going spiral to touch important issue every now and then and to stress uh, 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 on, on these important issues. And uh, the areas of strengths, usually in the professionalism, uh, you need to have a <coughs> well-observed incorporation of the essential concepts on the profession, professionalism, as we, we know that the communication skill uh, is, is one of the important part, and uh, medical uh, uh, ethics and the medical jurisprudence is the third one. And uh, you, you need to have a documentation of this. A well-balanced approach between the national healthcare system and the patient's right. And this would enable analysis of health needs of your community and you can tailor your uh, uh, curriculum uh, and uh, things to be taught uh, according to this. And when it comes to the constructive alignment, because so sometimes you might be tough in your school and you are producing a very <coughs> good high quality uh, uh, student. Uh, which is like uh, having very good quality students, but because of the stringent methods that you are taking, you are giving them Fs. And when they go to the uh, market outside, they will, find some, uh, they will find some people who like graduating from other schools when they're giving them As, and they will compete your, your, your graduate. So you need to look into the quality, and as well, you need to look into the market, you need to look into the needs. So the issue is like the, the balance between these issues. And usually, uh, when we, 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 uh, we uh, uh, tell people in our uh, workshops about the uh, constructive alignment, we used to bring this, and I guess uh, Khabab might, might have this 
being presented in one of his presentation being uh, uh, created by Professor Abdel Munim Sahal Al Mardi, who will join us soon, inshallah. So uh, we need to have alignment between uh, uh, what is written as intended learning outcomes or intending objectives and what is to be taught whatsoever teaching face to face or online or uh, self directed study and assessment itself so we would like to have this aligned not like this not aligned because you might have something which is taught and is not assessed and is as well is redundant because it's not in the attending learning outcomes so this is a waste of time and waste of resources and uh, uh, you might have as well uh, something which is like uh, uh, taught and uh, in, in the intending learning outcomes, but, but it's not assessed. And assessment drives learning. And because of this, this bar, if it is like very important and very crucial, Five minutes. It, it will be missed. So, and uh, so you, you, you need to have something which is like also, you need to have this <coughs> alignment. You look at it. And what I added, and I, I added this, this uh, interestable professional activities and uh, and the interestable professional activities, as we have uh, uh, been today in the morning sessions, that, that it is like something people invented, uh, the interestable professional activities to have the outcomes being really well implemented, but because of the stuff in relation to the interestable professional activities is very difficult to follow and it's very difficult to monitor. So we need to do the blueprint, uh, what to bring in according to the priority index. So wouldn't it like our students to be like this? My grades could be better if the school had a data-driven, evidence-based curriculum in the classroom. And the assessment utility and examination bank, as you know, uh, this is one of my study. Uh, before the technology and the examination bank, I studied this and I found one of the uh, major examination for, uh, for a degree that the editing errors is like 52.1 exam that being constructed by one of our seniors school everything is my teacher and i wouldn't like to say like in, I, from perspective of uh, the medical education the editing errors is like 52.1 percent and uh, the uh, uh, the expression problems is like 28.8 percent so you can see if the student scored low marks in this, who to be blamed. And then when I also analyzed the Bloom's taxonomy, I found all of the questions is about recall. And uh, the trend of, of that exam is like having no uh, 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 one trend line. Sometimes it's up, sometimes it's, it's down. I guess this is, uh, <laughs> it might be related to his economic status, my senior. So in medical teacher that people is looking into innovative way, the peer assessment, and you know this, and me and Khabbab uh, presented this in the uh, uh, Malaysia, the, the standard patient uh, judgment and how we can use it as something uh, 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 innovative of the assessment. The social accountability already been touched by uh, uh, Dr. Muhammad Hassan, but the important issue is to have the partners involvement and you need to customize this to your need and you need to look into how you can implement this. The integration, this is like the, the Sudan, uh, Blue Nile and, uh, uh, and White Nile junction. So we need to have the integration vertical, sequential or horizontal. Mm -hmm. And uh, we need to have the problem-based learning because this, I, I know this is in your, in your faculty is well addressed and uh, uh, well implemented. So I would like to congratulate you on this. Uh, we need to have uh, in, important emphasis on the student's involvement. As I can see, I would like to congratulate you on this. So the student is very big S yes, while we should be a small T in the represent representation of the students in, in our, uh, in our uh, uh, committees, important committees like the standard assessment committee and the curriculum committee and the other issues of like even the extracurricular activities. How come you are always trying to teach me things I do not want to know? And we need to tailor things to the interest of the students of today, like what we have seen. And uh, we need to have a core and optional elective uh, content for our students. We need to have a representation of our students in different committees and we need to uh, have a support for their 
uh, uh, curricular activities and extracurricular activities and academic supervision and these type of things. So it comes to the research where we have gaps here in Africa and in, especially in Arab world. And uh, uh, you know, as uh, our, our great uh, fellow from USA, you publish or perish. So this is a state outside. This is Meroe, or Marawi the, in Sudan. The human and financial resources is important. You need to have merits for those who do researches. You need to have physical activities. And, uh, and uh, uh, the issue of like allotted time, because uh, you know that as a, uh, <coughs> as a teacher, you have clinical activities, you have academic activities, and you have research. It's okay. So uh, just uh, uh, to finish, uh, this is our great professor, uh, Professor Bashir. And I would like to, uh, because this has been said earlier by our great professor here, the dean found when he established Jazeera University, it repeatedly difficult to dislodge the members from their strongly glued classical orientation, respe respected as it was not expected to change until they had been thoroughly trained. So this is the issue of well, the importance of training, taking home message is, uh, you need to have the balance between the local need and the WFME benchmarks. Certain issues deserve special inspection, monitoring, and sharing experience as we are, right, we are doing right now. The quality responsibility is the responsibility of all. معلش ال ال تناي طبعا الحين لما تغير من الكمبيوتر لكمبيوتر المرات ال الديزاين بتغير. لكن I would like to stress on the point. Documentation is the main pivotal pillar for evidence-based memory and. The student involvement is, this is reference, this is my reference, and thank you.